Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share an 8x8 photo album that my mom completed this weekend. She bought the album from Hobby Lobby and it came with papers to put inside but she had to do all the layouts and she decorated the cover. This was on the cover and this print and the green and then she made this banner um, on the side here. You guys can see with yellow ribbon she fussy cut all those banner pieces out and I love the little animals peeking out here and she added this sweet baby and the little monkey it's really really cute and this is the back and it has a plastic cover you know to protect it and the inside here front cover she made a cut out a dress form and then made a pocket and put a tag in there and she thought, you know, they could put a picture of, down here she has a sentiment, date of birth, wear, weight, you know, and length, where the baby was born. And then she thought they could put a photo on here, maybe on here as well, and journal on the back, or photo, whatever, you know, they want. She made like a triple bow here with twine. It's really, really cute. And the first, that's not, that's really the cover page, but the first page, it says Our Little Miracle, and she has a little monkey. Thought she glossy accented and a really nice big photo mat. And then these are the next two pages. Hopefully I'm in camera here. She made the ABC embellishments here and the flowers. She has a, a really pretty... Um, she cut a lot of these photos out with her spellbinders dies, even these little tiny ones. Um, she made a, like a strip here with three of them. And she even um, ran a lot of things through her embossing folders, but I'll show you closer up. Okay, this is the next one for really big photo mats. And the photos will slide under all her embellishments. And she has a little one there. So it looks really cute. And these are the next two pages. She made these um, pinwheel embellishments up here. And it says hugs and kisses. Nice big photo mat. And the baby bottle. And a giraffe. And then two photo mats here. I love her dies that she used. So, so pretty. And then four big photo mats here. And a zebra with a little turtle on its back. I don't know if. I'm close enough for you to see that. Isn't that cute? And then, of course, the photos will slide underneath the embellishments. And then she has an elephant up here, which a photo will slide under. Really pretty photo mat. And then she made this bundle of joy embellishment. She embossed this pocket, put some banners on it, and then inside she tucked a tag for more photos and journaling. Oh, I almost knocked my whole entire camera down. Sorry, guys. Just slide that back in there. And these are the next two pages. She has this really cute carriage. Two photo mats. Tag for journaling. It's a tag for journaling here. And over here it says Sweet Dreams Embellishment she made. Nice area for a photo, which I'll tuck underneath the ribbon. So I like it because she made big photo mats and small photo mats for all different size pictures. And I think there's over 60 areas for photos and journaling. But you can journal over here if you want it. And this is a Daddy and Me page. And she made that banner and ran it through her embossing folder, which I think is called Basket Weave. And then she cut this out with her spell binders and did that photo mat there. And there she made a rattle with the basket weave embossing folder as well. And two photo mats and then another tag for journaling. And these are the next two pages, what they look like together. So she did a banner up top, right across with a yellow ribbon again. Nice photo mat. And then this little guy here, and he cute? <laughs> another... Um, Tag for journaling, two more photo mats, and this cute little elephant embellishment. 
and then these two pages you can see them together um, she ran the photo mats through her wood grain embossing folder and she has the corners done here with her um, beads in a bottle she's a tag for journaling with recollections flowers and bling and that cute little height chair there and then up here she um, used she cut out the mommy and me sentiment and then she used um, ah oh yeah glitter glue accents from I think Studio G glitter glue it's a big mat there and this is so sweet the little guy following the mommy mommy or daddy and then over here she has this gorgeous three-dimensional high chair isn't that cool I love that and then she has another three picture mat page and another photo mat here and then over here there's that three-dimensional crib which I love. I don't know where she got those, but they're awesome. And then she cut this out of the Cricut and put the sentiment yawn and two photo mats here. And these pages is bath time. So that's what they look like together. And she has two photo mats here. Paper pieced a little rubber ducky from the Cricut. And I love the sentiment bath time because it looks like bubbles, you know, from a bath bubble. So I thought that looked really cute. And then over here she has six little photo mats and then an embellishment here she made with a sticker of diaper pins. And this is the last page here. So sweet. I absolutely love this draft. And two photo mats here that she's that basket weave again. And then the back cover page, she made a really big pocket, made another adorable banner with the ribbon. She has a little kangaroo with her baby there. And she glossy accented that. And then she also tucked in more photo mats, different sizes. I think these are two four by sixes, and I think this might be a five by seven. So just a lot of areas for photos and journaling. And this is currently for sale in my store, up for auction. If you guys would like to check it out, it makes a great gift or for your own baby. I will post the link below to my eBay store. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.